Well, since the president's last news conference, Mr. Obama announced that seismic shift in foreign policy on Cuba. He pushed a spending bill through Congress and got his choice for the Surgeon General confirmed. Plus, his immigration policy appears to have boosted his standing among Latinos. A new poll in the Wall Street Journal finds that his job approval rating with that voting block is up 10 percent since September alone. We should add, though, that that poll sample was small. Let's talk to Bob Cusack. He's editor in chief for The Hill. So, uh, Bob, we just laid it out there. Some things are certainly going the president's way, whether or not people like that. That's another matter. Do you think we can expect a more upbeat President Obama when he talks later today? Heather, I think so. I mean, the president has an opportunity. He had a very difficult 2014. He remains unpopular in polls. But what I think he's done over the last couple of weeks is he's grabbed the microphone. And remember, he's got to fight to stay relevant. The political press is focusing on the new Republican-controlled Senate next year. They're also going to be focusing on the 2016 White House race. So the president, by really his own this week, he, he announced the big Cuba change. And having, having this big press conference today... Uh, he has an opportunity to run, and, and he's going to take on this Republican Congress next year, which is the Congress is unpopular. So he has an opportunity. Bob, uh, your paper, The Hill, calls it the president's newfound freedom. Do you think that we're going to see a lot more in the way of executive orders and those presidential memoranda we learned about this week? Yes. I mean, the, the president's hands were tied throughout much of uh, 2014 because he had to protect a lot of those red state senators uh, who were up in November. Uh, but the problem is they all lost. So uh, going forward now, he doesn't have to worry about that. He's not on the ballot again. Of course, he wants a Democrat to succeed him, but he does have newfound freedom. He says he's going to use his executive power. The tricky part, Heather, though, is that he's got to work with the Republicans who don't like him when he uses that executive well, especially power. So when how he can they get deals done? On very, very big issues. OK, let's talk yes. about the president's uh, news conference a little bit more. You know, we've had that big issue of Sony, the FBI may be coming out pointing a finger at North Korea prior to the president's coming out that may not that may happen which puts him in an interesting position how do you handle that if the FBI is saying this does the president then acknowledge it it's a tricky position for the president but I think he's got to be pretty aggressive I mean this is this has been going on for a while it's not the first time North Korea has done this type of thing it's it's the biggest attention that it's gotten um, at the same time you know on foreign policy the president has been very cautious uh, throughout much of this year so I, I think though he's got to send a stern warning to the North Koreans at the same time he can't promise that the people who are behind this are going to be brought to justice uh, that's very unlikely yeah and would that warrant those words, as you say, would that carry any weight? I think it, I mean, the North Koreans are going to be watching this press conference, and of course they've denied that they're behind it, but uh, uh, a lot of agencies looking at this saying they are behind it, and of course they don't like this film. So I, I think he's got to straddle the line where he's got to be stern, uh, but he can't say, yeah, we're going to solve this case. Uh, and, and really with North Korea, he, he, that, that, the U.S.-North Korea uh, policy has just been stuck for years. That's not going to be changing. Uh, mm. Very different than the Cuba policy. Okay, at least not in this uh, press conference. Bob Husak <laughs> from The Hill. Bob, thanks so much and have a great weekend. We'll be watching the president in just a little bit. Thanks, Heather.